But doctors do tell me that they've started to see some troubling trends. The hospital system is seeing a steady increase in the percentage of COVID-19 tests coming back positive. At the end of April, that number was 8.54%. And as of Monday, that number stands at 13.42%. Henry Ford also telling us that as of Tuesday, they have 88 inpatients in their system. I had the opportunity to talk with doctors about what they want you to know heading into the holiday weekend. Do you still wear your mask and all that? Or? Well, I've gotten back to wearing a mask like in a store, something of that nature, I would, yeah. Fresh back from a trip to Fiji to visit her daughter, Farmington Hills resident Mary Williams is going with the flow when it comes to COVID protection. Honestly, you, you just gotta roll with it. it. It's here for a while, it's gonna be with us for a while. We're going to have to just figure out how to deal with it. Have you had any thoughts about how that will impact your holiday weekend? I think we'll just be more careful, um, but it's not going to impact what I, not going to limit my time, yeah. but I'm going to go see family members out of state. Henry Ford Health Assistant Medical Director for Infection Protection, Dr. Dennis Cunningham says, while our most recent COVID numbers are holding steady, hospitalization rates are up and safety should be the first thing on the menu at any holiday gathering. Well, if you can do things outside, I think it's a whole lot safer. You have the uh, air moving, people tend not to be so close together, so that's a whole lot safer. I do think people need to think about wearing masks indoors. The low number that is causing a bit of concern, booster vaccination rates. And now that the age limit is on the way to be lowered for children, Dr. Cunningham hopes to see shots increase. So I looked at the state's data. The latest I saw was from May 17th, and only about 37.1% of people 12 and older have received a booster dose. A lot of them received a booster dose a year ago or longer, which means their protection of the vaccine is dropping. So one of the take home messages, get the vaccine. Last week, we saw the FDA broaden that booster scope for children ages 5 to 11, and a decision is expected soon from the agency on a vaccine for kids as young as six months. In the meantime, if you're traveling or planning a get-together, please do so safely.